Good morning or good afternoon. Today we'll be watching a Quizette video on Quizette 608 with the asterisk on top. As always, make sure you write your last name, comma, first name, today's date, and your class color. Number one is asking you what the reciprocal is of two numbers, which is 5, 6, and negative 5. So the reciprocal is just the opposite of the number, but not the opposite like integers. The opposite of like 5 in integers is negative 5. The reciprocal is like, um, if it, you have a fraction, it's like you flip it. Instead of 5, 6, now you have 6 over 5. So the reciprocal of 5, 6 is, or we could say the, uh, I ran out of room. So we could say the reciprocal of 5, 6 is 6 fifths. And in turn, the reciprocal of negative 5 is, so I always have to write the fraction out. So I'd put a 1 under negative 5, because technically, if it's an integer, it has a 1 underneath. Um, and then the reciprocal of negative 5 over 1 is 1 over negative 5. So the reciprocals, go ahead and just box the reciprocals. Not the whole sentence, just the reciprocals. So the formal definition of reciprocal is as if you were dividing the integer by 1. But that can be confusing because that you could also tra translate that as just putting it into a fraction and putting a 1 under it. But the formal definition is like dividing it by 1. We're going to look at it in the book. Maybe the book explains it a little bit different, differently. Hopefully that helps us a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you. Number two, it has all these fancy pictures. And um, this is the first time I actually divide fractions by using a tape diagram or by using a picture like that. Maybe you've seen it before. Um, I learned the procedural way, which I'm going to still teach you, number three and number four on the last box. But number two, some of you guys might have to help me with this at some point in the week. So number two says divide, divide, use the models to help you. So here we have two whole numbers. So we have two, and two is represented here in two tape diagrams. And then it wants to be divided into fifths. So in each one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you count how many times, how many one fifths you have into two wholes. So two divided by one fifth is ten. And then that second box where you see that yellow, it is two divided into thirds. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So two divided by one third is six. Now that seems pretty simple, but you might get things that divide out that might not work out that nicely. So in that case, it's good to know the procedural aspect as well or the procedural way to solve these. So number three says one half divided by one half. Now there are two ways that you can solve this using a procedure. So the way my elementary school teachers taught me was like this, one half divided could be the inverse operation of division is multiplication. This little dot means multiplication. So I'm gonna put a dot instead of a, an X because Pretty soon we're going to start doing a little bit of algebra and we're going to use x for stuff. So get used to writing the little dot for multiplication. And then you give the reciprocal of 1 half, which is 2 over 1. And then you just multiply straight across. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. This is just one whole. So the answer is just 1. Thank you for writing this down. Another way you can solve this is using the ear method. So go ahead and write it up here. The ear method is something I did not learn in school. It is something my husband taught me. One day we were at a coffee shop. What a surprise, we're always drinking coffee. And he asked me what I was gonna teach that week. And I said I was gonna teach division of fractions and I was really nervous about it because um, when you change division into multiplication and then you use a reciprocal, it can get confusing. And he was like, why don't you just teach your kids the ear method? And I was like, I've never heard of that in my life. And he's like, oh, it's so fun. My, my sixth grade teacher taught it to me, and I never, I never forgot it. 
And so it only works for division. So maybe somewhere put only for division. Okay, so ear method only works for division. Um, so this is how he set it up. So watch carefully. Don't even write this down. Just, just wait. Just wait for me. And then I'll give you guys a second to write it down. Just, just watch. So we have one half divided by one half because that's what they gave us. You connect the outer numbers and then you connect the inner numbers. And this coincidentally kind of looks like an ear. That's why you call it the ear method. So you would multiply the first, the first connection right here, one times two, I'm making it bolder. One times two is two. And then two times one, the inner one goes on the bottom is two. Two over two, that's just one whole. So that's another way you could solve this. You get the same answer. Now let's look at the last one. We have 5 16 divided by 1 half. Let's do it both ways. So we have 5 over 16. Now the opposite of division is multiplication. The reciprocal of 1 half is 2 over 1. So we have 5 times 2, which is 10. 16 times 1, which is 16. Now I can uh, make that into simpler form. I can reduce that. Uh, 2 goes into both of those numbers. So I can divide both of those by 2. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 2 goes into 16 8 times. So the correct answer is 5 eighths. Now I want to use the ear method. So now you can write it down. Um, I'm running out of room, so I'm just going to write it really small in this section right here. And I'm going to say ear method. So I have 5 16 divided by 1 half. 5 times 2 is 10. 16 times 1 is 16. And in turn, I can divide both of those by 2. And I'd get the same answer, 5 eighths. Good luck on this, Cosette. If you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand. Actually, guys, I want to come back and connect the ear method to number 2 right here. So maybe we can write it. I know you don't have a different color, so maybe you can write a box. So we can reinforce the ear method over here. Um, so I have 2 divided by 1 fifth. Now underneath every integer or every whole number, we can just write a 1, right? So 2 is a whole number, so I could just put a 1 under it, okay? So I can do 2 over 1 divided by 1 fifth, and I'd have 2 times 5, that goes on top, which is 10. 1 times 1 goes on the bottom, and that's 1. Hey, 1 goes into 10, 10 times. And if you look, it matches the answer that we have, that we found. So you can use a tape diagram, you can use the ear method, or you can use the, the multiplication of the reciprocal. So there's three different ways you can divide fractions. There might even be more, but those are the ones that I know of right now. So let's try this one. 2 over 1 divided by one third. I just put a one under this two right here. I don't know if you can see where I'm writing. I just put a one under it because it's a whole number, it's an integer, so I can just put a one under it. Now I'm gonna use ear method, two over one divided by one third. Two times three is six. One times one is one. And it does matter where you place the numbers. So in the ear method, the outside numbers go on top. The inside numbers go on the bottom. One goes into six six times. Do our answers match what we found? Yes, they do.